Ever wondered who was the last ruler of the princely state of Patna in Odisha, India? A man who not only wore the royal crown but also served his people as a devoted politician? That person is none other than Maharaja Sir Rajendra Narayan Singh Deo. Today, we delve into the life of this remarkable personality, tracing his journey from a royal household to the political landscape of India. Born into the royal family of Saraikela, Rajendra Narayan Singh Deo's life took a turn when he was adopted by Maharaja Prithviraj Singh Deo of Patna State. His education at Mayo College and St. Columbia's College laid the foundation for his well-rounded personality. The year 1946 marked an important milestone in his life. He was appointed a Knight Commander of the Order of the Indian Empire, a prestigious title that acknowledged his influence and stature. However, the following years brought significant changes not just for him, but for the entire country. 1948 saw the princely state of Patna merge with the Union of India. This was a time of transformation for India, and for Rajendra Narayan Singh Deo as well. He transitioned from royalty to politics, a move that demonstrated his commitment to serve his people in a new capacity. In 1951, he was elected to the first Lok Sabha, marking his official entry into the political arena. His political journey continued, and he was elected to the Odisha Legislative Assembly in 1957, 1961, 1967, 1971, and 1974. His political acumen led him to preside over the Ganatantra Parishad political party. Later, he served as the president of the Odisha State Unit of the Swatantra Party. His political career reached its zenith when he served as the chief minister of Odisha from 1967 to 1971. Throughout his political career, he held various positions in the government, including that of a finance minister. His leadership and vision were instrumental in shaping the path of progress for Odisha. So, who was Rajendra Narayan Singh Deo? He was a royal by birth, a politician by choice, and a leader by virtue. His life was a testament to his commitment to his people and his state. From his royal roots to his political pursuits, his journey was marked by a relentless desire to serve and improve the lives of his people. He was a man of many roles, a Maharaja, a knight commander, a legislator, and a chief minister. But above all, he was a man devoted to his people, a true leader who left an indelible mark on the history of Odisha and India.